jobs are still one of the biggest issues, especially in this district. You okay. know, it's very well known that when General Motors left in 2008, a huge outflux of jobs left this area. And it's slowly coming back, but it's slow. And we need to educate our workforce so they have the technological skills that are required for the jobs that are available. Because there are some jobs, it's just that people have not been trained for those jobs. So I guess education and jobs really go together, but those are the two top items. And why would I want to do this? I, I think it's because I feel like I've got the skills and uh, I've, I've got the connections. The relationship building uh, was uh, had a record, uh, a good record of getting things done and was able to work across party lines and uh, part of that is having a good relationship with not only, I'm a labor guy, but having a good relationship with the business community and, and that's uh, what I think is unique about me compared to the other candidates that, and I think that's why uh, I can hit the ground running. There's no learning curve here. I've got the experience and the record to do this job. And Since 2009, Wisconsin has lost more businesses than have been started. So we're hemorrhaging, we're hemorrhaging small businesses, which are job creators. We have to work to attract those, to encourage startups and uh, kind of, I, I call it betting on Wisconsin. I think we have to set up um, zones of uh, startup zones that um, can help uh, facilitate uh, startups to grow and, and start businesses. And then also, I think you have to, to raise the minimum wage. I think that's crucial. Uh, inflation has gone up in five years since the last time it was raised. Prices are already up, but people's incomes are not up. And uh, that's something we have to work from 